So now in this video we're going to look at the circuit we made in the last video and I actually waited to make this circuit until I had a two channel oscilloscope that was easy to use. So we have the Handtech uh, 2D72 right there. It's a, a multi-purpose tool. Uh, but uh, we have it set to read a uh, roll. You can see it rolling and then two channels right now. So the yellow line, which is a little bit above the green line, that's the light dependent resistor voltage divider right there. You can see the uh, voltage here, zero volts. It's going up one, two, uh, three. So somewhere around three. We're not going to worry about that too much. You can see if I get it darker, then the voltage goes down below the green line and the blue LED lights up. So right now the output's high. It's a nine inverting comparator outputs high and uh, the voltage is higher the uh, signal voltage than our uh, reference voltage which is the green line which we can set with the trim pot so we fall below so now it's low the output is low the blue LED lights up I'll try to remember to link a video that explains that circuit so now we want to change the uh, sensitivity and I have it so the backlight turns off after 120 seconds we got to hit a button to uh, get the light uh, back to its brightness. So what we're going to do, we're going to change the sensitivity. Let's say we want to make it so it's got to be brighter before the output will go high. We just uh, turn the trim pot. So now the green line is up higher. Yellow is lower, so we have a low output. So now I need to, uh, I could actually turn the lamp, I think, bright enough. Nope, that's uh, still not quite bright enough. So we actually have to get like a headlamp or something. Now you can see the voltage went way up. And of course we can go the other way. Let's get the uh, lamp completely dim. Let's say we want anything dimmer than the lamp before the output will go low. So we can just lower our uh, trim pot voltage there. So channel two, the green line, until it's lower. So any amount lower, uh, down to a uh, zero volts. But uh, there you can see that's quite a bit darker. We got to get it and when I turn the lamp off the overhead light is energy saving it's hardly uh, any light at all there you can see that uh, we crossed that threshold and it changed so now we plug both probes into uh, the BNC plugs up on top they're BNC cables and at the other end of the probe this is how it came when I bought uh, the the meter new it came with two of these probes the uh, ground clip though we did not have a jumper I added that so let's just uh, plug that uh, anywhere and then we want that to ground so that's how it knows where zero volts is and then we have a little clip there I accidentally pulled out you see a little metal jumper I actually had that little metal jumper in the board over there so I return the uh, jumper to the board and it's kind of hard to see but I have the probe set to 1x. You could also set it to a uh, 10x but you got to pay attention to uh, what the setting is in the meter whether it's uh, 1x or 10x we'll look at that later. So in any case I'm uh, kind of aiming while I'm looking through the camera but there we go. Just simply clip it where you want to take a voltage measurement and uh, channel 2 again we have it clipped to uh, ground the uh, ground to the negative rail. And then we have a clip to that side of the voltage divider and we want to make sure we got good connections there. So now we're going to run through setting up the meter really quick. So it turned off after five minutes because I'm operating on battery. I don't want to set it so it will stay on forever. And we are back to the settings that we had before. And so if you haven't been taking this measurement, you're not going to be at that setting. So what we're going to do is hit menu and it was already up on menu but uh, that's what we had to hit. We're gonna go to default and uh, everybody that says uh, de hits default and then hits F1 for sure, which uh, sets it to its uh, default. Now everybody that does that should be on the same uh, footing. So now we have, uh, you could hit the channel button, but it already popped up. So uh, channel button's down here. We hit it, it goes away and, uh, or it went away, it faded on its own after a little bit uh, but you hit channel and that pops up so we want a DC uh, coupling and then we have uh, so that was channel one we set it to DC coupling we hit this button now it's channel two so we have that green so as you can see uh, channel one is enabled and you can see where the uh, yellow line will be now we go to channel two we want to enable it now you see another uh, green line there so we're going to hit the up arrow, you can see the up arrow there, to uh, 
I want uh, zero volts. We could have left it down there. Um, but uh, we're gonna set zero volts for both of these to that line there because I'm using five volts. So you go up one, two, three, four, five. If we have it, one volt per division. We have to adjust that because it's half a volt uh, per division. So one volt is two. Uh, and then that would be uh, two volts up there. Uh, two squares for each volt. So uh, we have to hit the channel button to get that back up. So that's how we got that set. And again, we're gonna be measuring DC. And uh, so we want uh, DC uh, coupling right there. And uh, right now it's showing that we have it set uh, to two volts. And uh, yellow must be uh, a lot higher than that. Um, uh, should be what uh, we got right there. So now let's uh, change the voltage. So that was right arrow that I pressed over here. So we can go uh, down in voltage per division with the left arrow or up in voltage per division with the uh, right arrow there. So we did that uh, with channel one. We want to also, while we're at channel one, uh, lower the uh, arrow there until it lines up with green. Oops, the K jumped over there. So uh, we should be lined up uh, pretty well right now. So now that's zero for both of them right there. We had to adjust both of them. So now it's kind of taking a snapshot. You see it's like jumping all over the place. It's not uh, showing that smooth transition to the uh, voltages that we wanted. So what we're gonna do is do the uh, time button there. And this is uh, what we got on display. So we want for mode, we want a roll right there. And uh, we didn't change uh, channel two to one volt per division. We want that. So again, channel and then uh, channel two. Now it's uh, set over there. We hit the right button and it goes to one volt right there. So, so channel two should be about uh, one volt. And uh, that we adjust with the uh, trim pot as we saw before but I think we are all done making changes now there we go yeah so we go above what the yellow is based on the light brightness and the uh, output goes low because yellow is lower there and uh, so the lamp there we go we turn the uh, lamp up and that was enough after 30 seconds it's gonna go dark right now now yellow is just barely above or we could take uh, the headlamp there and go up. So that's really all the settings we had to make to take this measurement right there. So hope you enjoyed watching that, if you watch that. So now we kept seeing the uh, backlight go dim and so what we can do, we can hit the menu button here. And so that's when we did the default, that's what it has set there. But what we're looking for now so that's the backlight setting right now. We could change that too. Keep hitting that, make it brighter. And it uh, seems to do six every time you do default and it was six when I got it. So we can change the backlight time to 120. And this is just because we're using battery. After a while it will uh, dim and uh, it'll dim down to uh, a one. And uh, so this is six when it was dimmer is one. So 120, since we're using battery, probably not a bad idea to do that. And it went away, we'll hit menu again. And another thing, the uh, shutdown. So after five minutes, it will shut down. I think at the beginning of this video, um, at least one of the times I tried recording it, it had auto shutdown because I stepped away for about five minutes. Using battery, that's probably a good idea. If you're away for five minutes, uh, probably you're not coming back until the battery's dead, I'm guessing, uh, most of the time. So yeah, you could, uh, but if you don't want it to go off, you could go to infinite or down to five minutes, which as I said before, I think is a good setting. So in any case, uh, we're all done. So I'm going to uh, power it off and that should have been long enough. Nope, there we go. Uh, I think maybe you gotta do it uh, twice. It doesn't seem to work the first time as much as the second time, uh, but not too hard to turn off. Just uh, keep trying a couple times. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out uh, the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.